and you're like, well, I'm gonna do all of them, and by doing all of them, I'm gonna get more traffic. No, you're not. That's not how shit works. What's up, Devon Brown here, and today I want to talk to you about getting free traffic to your internet business. Uh, free traffic is one of those things that's like the holy grail, like everybody's like, oh, I'm gonna start an internet business, and then I want a bunch of traffic to come to my website for free, or to come to my funnel for free, and then all these people are gonna come to my site for free, then they're gonna buy a bunch of stuff, and I'm gonna get rich. And that's, that's, that's this, the, the idea behind free traffic, and what I want to do is I want to shed a little bit of light on free traffic and tell you the truth about free traffic um, so that you have a, a fair and realistic understanding of how free traffic works and what it actually is. All right? So just kind of listen to me. If you'd love to get free traffic to your site, we all would. Just hear me out. The first thing is, uh, is free traffic a real thing? Yes, it absolutely is possible to get people to your website for free. Uh -huh. How can you do that? There are a million different ways. You can post videos on YouTube. You can do SEO, which stands for search engine optimization. You can get really good at making a Facebook group. You can get good at Instagram or uh, Twitter or TikTok or whatever, right? You can go into uh, forums and, and, and post content and answer questions inside of forums. Um, and then in your little signature file, you can have a link back to your website. You can do guest blogging on other people's site. There's a million things that you can do for free traffic. So the first question is, does free traffic exist? The answer is yes. The next question is, and this is a question most of you don't ask yourself. If free traffic is so awesome and so easy, then why does paid traffic even exist? Why does Facebook and Google sell billions of dollars in advertising if free traffic is so easy and is so awesome? The answer is, because paid traffic is quicker, faster, easier, and more scalable. That's why it costs some money. If free traffic were as easy as so many of you guys think it is, then paid traffic would not exist. Why would people spend money to get traffic if it was just as easy to get it for free? The answer is because it's not just as easy to get it for free. That's why we pay for it. That's why people run Facebook ads. That's why people run YouTube ads. That's why people pay for Google AdWords. All right? So that's just a reality. Understand if pay traffic was, if free traffic was so awesome, nobody would pay for it. But everybody pays for it every day. That's why we pay for it because it just makes sense to pay for it. It's easier, it's faster. So, well, Devon, I don't have a big budget. How do I get free traffic? The answer is consistency. The truth about free traffic, or anything free for that matter, is that if you want to get something for free and you don't want to pay for it, then the reality is that, okay, you can have it for free, but it's going to take more knowledge and it's going to take more time. Paying for something means that you don't have to have the knowledge for how it works, somebody else does, and you don't have to have time. You can just, here's a dollar, give me my visitor, right? But if you don't want to pay the money, then, okay, fine, you're going to have to A, um, have the knowledge on how to do it yourself, and or B, um, take a lot of time to do it. So let me give you an example. YouTube videos are a way to get free traffic, right? Okay, so what would you do? You would pick a niche, right? Uh, and then once you have your niche, or your area of interest, you would figure out all of the questions that people want answered in that niche, and then you would go and make a bunch of YouTube videos answering those questions, and then you would SEO or search engine optimize those videos to try to get traffic to them, and then hopefully those videos would go up the rankings, and then people would watch the videos, and then in, after the video they would go and visit your site. That's an entire process that's going to take you, best case scenario, months to get good at. There's nothing wrong with that, but it's going to take you months to get good at. That's just a reality. So if you're not willing to invest uh, uh, months learning how to do it and getting good at it, you're never going to reap the benefits. If you see somebody that says, I get a thousand visitors a day just from posting free videos on YouTube, that's because they've been posting free videos on YouTube for six freaking months and they're good as hell at it. You're not gonna jump in and do it and get a thousand visitors a day in a week. It doesn't work like that. All right, it's just the truth. So 
I'm fine with you wanting to go down that road, but if you think that it's going to happen as easily or as quickly or as scalable-tastic, that's not a good word, but whatever, as paid traffic, you are fooling yourself. I'm not saying don't go for it. It's a great long-term strategy, but paid traffic is easier and faster. Last but not least, uh, here's what I'll say. If you want free traffic, my advice to you is to not try to focus on a bunch of different ways to get free traffic. Earlier in this video, I listed a whole bunch of ways to get free traffic, um, and you're like, well, I'm going to do all of them, and by doing all of them, I'm going to get more traffic. No, you're not. That's not how shit works. What happens is you're going to do all of them, and you're going to get zero results. That's what's going to happen, all right, if you try to do all of them. Your best bet is to pick one, focus on one, get good at one, build one up for the next six to 12 months, get it to the point where you're so good at YouTube videos, for example, that you're getting a thousand visitors a day and all your videos are seasoned and all that good stuff. Then if you want to go jump into TikTok, then jump into TikTok or something like that, right? My suggestion is you get good at one, get gangster as hell at one, then do something else. But if you try to, to spread out your efforts, it's like the difference like when, when the sun is beating down um, on the forest, I've used this example a million times, if the sun's uh, rays are spread out, then at the end of the day, you just have a warm forest. But if you take those, those sunlight rays and you focus them through a magnifying glass and you focus them on one thing, then you can start a whole forest fire, right? Same amount of sun, it's just focus. And that's the power of focus. So my suggestion is you focus on one way of getting free traffic and then building it up, understand it's going to take time and get good at it, and then you can reap the rewards, all right? So that is the truth about free traffic. It's real, it's a thing, but it's way harder than you might think. And it takes time and you're going to have to get good at it. So you have to be willing to trade off knowledge and time for money. And if you don't want to trade off knowledge and time, then frick it, just pay for it. Okay? That's my advice to you. So uh, I hope you found this helpful. hope you don't mind me being honest with you. Um, and if you do, oh well. Uh, uh, share this video if you found it helpful. Uh, like, comment, sign my fingers, flip my feet, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Hey, Devon here. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and connect with me on social media. And if you enjoyed this content, be sure to share it with your friends.